Hello, this is Carly, and today I want to share with you how I store my embellishments. So I store most of my embellishments in this uh, drawers that I've, I've purchased, and they were the cheapest drawers I could find, so they're not the most attractive, um, but they do the job fine. Uh, and I think uh, I'd like to get a second one, but right now I don't really need it. So I've got all my embellishments um, separated by by mostly colour and then I've got a couple of categories so I've got travel, cats and I've got a whole heap of like love valentine stuff in the top drawer as well ideally I think I'd like to have it um, I usually separate my colours into eight different categories um, so like over here I've got all my papers and I usually separate them into green, blue, purple, pink, red yellow and orange together because they're not really colours that I use often brown and then neutrals so black, white, grey, gold and silver I stick in there so that's how I, I like to store my colours, the, the categories that make sense to me so I think eventually I'd like to have two sets of these draw units and then have one um, you know green, blue, purple, pink and then in the next set of drawers I'd have the red, yellow and orange, um, brown and then the neutrals. And then I'd have four drawers then for categories so I'd probably have something like travel, cats, I don't know, whatever else I need, maybe Christmas or holidays and something else. So that's, that's my plan for the future but right now I've got it like this and it's, it's working for me. So inside the drawers I have firstly like a little tray to hold all my big stuff or stuff that I haven't broken out of the packets yet and then I've usually got these three boxes that I've made myself out of old scrapbooking paper that I'd, I probably wouldn't use anymore and in these um, because most of the drawers are separated into two colors or more I have um, a tray full of um, so like, what's the word, um, thicker stuff, um, I've forgotten the word, you know, you know what I mean because you're seeing it, so I've got brads in here and buttons and, um, like, paper clips, flare, lots of those kind of things, I'm trying to think of the word, it's thick, thickness, and so here's my other one, that one's for pink, and then I don't have much brown stuff. Dimensional. <laughs> Dimensional is the word I'm trying to think of. And then in the third little box, I have my die cuts. And because I can only fit three, I've got the pink and the brown in here together. So I've got tags. Um, I've got stickers from you know packets that are that are just about empty. I'll cut apart the stickers and put them into colours. So. That's, that's where I stick everything there and then they just go here in the box in the drawer so it fits three three lots of these boxes pretty pretty well and then this um, I have enough room here for something there I was thinking about maybe putting washi tape there but right now I don't have enough washi tape to divide out into the colors so in here because this is my love themed one I've got some wood veneer in there and and then just um, packets so things that I haven't broken apart yet um, like these flare I haven't broken them apart they're still in the love category eventually I might break them apart and put them into their colors some bling this is again there's not much pink um, or brown on this left but I've been using it for my wedding album, so love themed. Um, once I'm done with my wedding album, I'll probably um, break the part, up apart the ones that I haven't used yet and stick them into colours. And then this one here is a good example of a sticker sheet that has lots and lots and lots of colours on it. But when I look at it, I mostly see pink and, and love. So I'd probably use it with those kind of themes. Then once I've used it again, I'll probably put it away into their colours got some ribbons, some, some frames, 
did have some, um, what's that word? Some, um, I can't think of it, some floss. Um, I usually have them in a separate drawer altogether. Um, but at the moment I've obviously used this and I've just put it back into the pink thing. If you're wondering what I'm talking about there, over here I've got a drawer full of all, all my sewing stuff. So that was my pink, brown and love. Here's my blue and greens. So again, at the back here I've got my green dimensional stuff, my blue dimensional stuff, and then my flatter um, stickers and tags and things like that will go in there. So I find these boxes really easy to, to flick through. When you're not holding a camera, obviously, you can flick through it a bit better and find what you need. Usually when I'm searching for embellishments, I'm not really looking for anything in particular. I'm just looking for colours that suit the page. So I'll flick through, find some colours that, that will work with my page, and then after I've pulled out a couple of things, I'll probably decide on, on the one or the couple that I want to use. And then, yep, again, my embellishments. And here I've got some like little ribbon bits and, and pieces that I've cut up. Some more ribbons and then some sticker sheets and some chipboard sheets. So in my red, yellow, this, this one is my red, yellow, orange and purple. I found that I don't actually use purple much in scrapbooking. I'm a fan of the colour, just don't like it in scrapbooking. So at the moment this is pretty much all my purple stuff and then there's a couple in there, a couple of ribbons and stuff. This is my um, die cuts and stickers for all the colours but as you can see it's mostly red, yellow, orange. Um, and I don't have very many embellishments. This isn't really a colour I use. I do use red a bit. And in here I've got um, a Becky Higgins Project Life mini kit. Um, just as testing it out, I found that it fits perfectly in here. And it's got a nice metal, metal uh, magnet clasp. And in there I've got all my dimensional stuff. So my reds, yellows and orange. And I quite like it. I like It's really easy to, to, to spread everything out and see it. So I've measured it up. This is the only kit I've got at this point in time. I've measured it up and I think I could fit um, two side by side and like two on top of each other so I could fit four in here. Um, so as my Project Life collection grows I'm thinking maybe of turning these into you know, where I keep my stuff. I'm not sure. I'm undecided at the moment. I do like when I open up I can see what I've got and click through. With this I, I really do have to take it out um, and open it before I can flick through and find something so there's that as a disadvantage but yeah I'm, I'm undecided at the moment I'm gonna see if it works for me yet before I commit so all my my neutrals draw I call this so whites creams blacks um, and also golds and silvers again I don't have much stuff a lot of these um, buttons are actually from my clothes, um, spare ones. Seem to have a lot of black and grey clothes for some reason. Um, now let's come to help. And then my travel drawer. Uh, I've got quite a bit of travel stuff because for a while my only albums were travel related. This is a little um, jar full of snow related stuff. It doesn't snow where I live, um, so I don't have much snow stuff. Um, I've only got this snow stuff because I have been to America when it snows, and so as you can see, I haven't really used. I've probably only done a couple of pages on snow. <laughs> and then, yep, again, my stickers and tags, my more dimensional stuff, and then I've got a whole heap of. A lot of this stuff is really, really old now. I don't think I've bought any travel related products in a long time. So these are all probably at least five years old, but I love my travel stuff. And I've, I have used a lot of it. And then lastly is my cats. This drawer is the emptiest. Um, okay, I'm back. 
my camera went black I hope that last video saved um, in here I've got something that I used to hold um, a whole heap of brads in um, now that I've separated the brads out into like the color drawers I've just stuck that there because it sort of fits perfectly um, so I, I'm gonna probably use that in one of my drawers in the future I'm just not sure with what yet <laughs> So yeah, that's that's how I sort my embellishments. Because um, when I'm scrapbooking page, I usually think by colour first. So I'll go to the colour drawer, um, pull it open, and flick through and see what what matches or what goes or what I could possibly use with the page. One thing I did forget to mention is I have got some Christmassy stuff in this um, red and yellow orange drawer because I figure I guess red equals Christmas the most. It's also one of the emptiest drawers. I don't have much Christmas stuff. Anyway, that's how I store my embellishments. On the top here I've got a whole heap of pencils and tools, my scrapping tools there. I do have some wood veneer letters, some chipboard letters here and I've got some old uh, Mayer Road chipboard boxes as well. So that's my embellishment drawer. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, um, feel free to leave me a comment below and don't forget to give it a good thumbs up. Thank you very much. My name is Carly and I'll see you next time. Bye.